I've always been fascinated by trees, but it wasn't until recently that I discovered the incredible physics behind their ability to transport water. First, we have the roots. These underground networks are like the tree's very own water collecting system. But the real magic happens in the xylem. These are essentially the tree's plumbing system. They're incredibly narrow tubes that run from the roots all the way up to the leaves. Now, you might be wondering, how does water start moving up these tubes? Well, this is where capillary action comes into play. It's a phenomenon where water can move upward in narrow spaces, defying gravity. This happens because of two forces, adhesion and cohesion. Adhesion is the tendency of water molecules to cling to the walls of the xylem, while cohesion is the attraction between water molecules themselves. Now, capillary action alone isn't enough to get water all the way to the top of a tall tree. This is where it gets really interesting. The real driving force behind this incredible feat is something called transpiration. Essentially, it's the evaporation of water from the leaves. The fascinating part is that this evaporation creates a negative pressure, or suction, within the xylem. This process is so powerful that it can pull water to heights of over 100 meters in the tallest trees. Remember how we talked about cohesion earlier? Well, this property of water is crucial for the whole system to work. The water molecules stick together so strongly that they form an unbroken column from the roots to the leaves. This is known as the cohesion tension theory. It's absolutely mind-blowing when you think about it. This delicate balance of forces allows trees to transport water to great heights, embodying the incredible physics at work in nature. Trees use capillary action as part of a complex process to move water from their roots up through their trunks and branches to their leaves. However, capillary action alone cannot account for the heights that water reaches in tall trees. The water movement in trees is a result of multiple forces working together, primarily transpiration pool, capillary action and root pressure. Here's a breakdown of how these forces interact to transport water to great heights in trees. 1. Root pressure. Root cells actively take up minerals from the soil, creating a higher solute concentration within the root cells compared to the surrounding soil. Due to osmosis, water flows into the roots to balance this concentration gradient. This generates a mild pressure within the roots, pushing water upward, but it is not strong enough on its own to reach the top of tall trees. 2. Capillary action. Capillary action refers to the ability of water to flow in narrow spaces without the assistance of external forces. It occurs due to adhesion and cohesion. Adhesion is the attraction between water molecules and the walls of the narrow xylem tubes, vascular tissue in plants. Cohesion is the attraction between water molecules themselves, allowing them to stick together. Capillary action allows water to rise a certain distance up the narrow xylem vessels, but this distance is limited and insufficient on its own to reach the higher branches and leaves of tall trees. 3. Transpiration pull, the primary force. The main force driving water up tall trees is the process of transpiration, the evaporation of water from the surfaces of leaves. As water evaporates from the leaf surfaces, it creates a negative pressure, a suction force, within the leaf's xylem vessels. This negative pressure extends down through the water column in the xylem vessels, pulling water up from the roots in a continuous stream. Because of water's cohesive properties, this column remains unbroken, allowing for a steady flow. This transpiration pull can lift water to significant heights, even in the tallest trees. How these forces work together. Capillary action helps initiate the upward movement of water in the narrow tubes, xylem. 
root pressure, adds a push from below, especially during times of low transpiration. Transpiration pull acts as the primary force, continually pulling the water column upward through the tree. This process is sometimes referred to as the cohesion tension theory because it relies on the cohesive forces between water molecules and the tension created by transpiration. The strength of this system is enough to lift water to the heights seen in even the tallest trees, such as the redwoods, which can reach over 300 feet. Each component, root pressure, capillary action and transpiration plays a crucial role in the remarkable ability of trees to transport water against gravity.